Early in January, Perseverance deployed its Sherlock instrument on a rock, and nothing happened. The dust cover hadn't opened. Ten saws later, it opened, but only partially. Is this now the end of a mission-critical tool? On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance is a roving science laboratory on Mars. It's got instruments designed to help reveal the geologic history of Jezero Crater and to search for organic matter, which could be part of a possible biologic history. One of the instruments goes by the contrived acronym SHERLOCK. It includes the highest resolution camera of the record 23 cameras on Perseverance at 10 microns per pixel. But its ability to detect organics is what makes it so critical. Sherlock was successfully deployed dozens of times over the course of nearly three years of operations, most recently on this rock, shown with Mars Guy for scale. But with the next deployment on Sol 1024, the successful streak came to an end. It started after G-Dirt, the gas dust removal tool, blew dust off a patch on this rock. The first look came from Sherlock's partner, Watson, which took this color image. Next up was Pixel, which used its X-ray spectrometer to measure the elemental chemistry. Sherlock waited until after sunset, about 8 p.m., when it could operate at the cold temperatures it likes. It started out as normal, observing the calibration target on the inside of its closed dust cover. The two all-black images sent back to Earth confirm that this happened, but then nothing else happened. The view from the front HASCAM on the next saw showed Sherlock hovering over the outcrop with its dust cover closed. This was bad. The arm was then raised into a position to provide a better view from the mass-mounted cameras, including a close-up with the zoom lens of MASCAM Z. This was the beginning of the arm Tai Chi that I presented in episode 146 without realizing its purpose. There's no obvious damage or excessive dust accumulation that could explain the problem. And it's noteworthy that the Watson camera uses the same stepper motor on its dust cover, which has not been having any trouble. A glimmer of hope appeared on Sol 1035 in a standard NavCam cloud survey image. The arm turret is in view, and Sherlock is just visible with its dust cover partially opened. I'm wondering if this was a latent response to earlier commands, because no close-up images were taken at this time. It wasn't until two saws later that additional close-up navcam images were shot. And so began an imaging campaign intended to provide views of Sherlock in different orientations, Well, presumably back on Earth, all available telemetry was being scrutinized. It's also safe to assume that commands were being sent during this time to get Sherlock to further open its dust cover. It was commanded to take its own images as well, which provided out-of-focus views of nearby components reflected off the calibration target mounted on the inside of the dust cover. Another glimmer of hope occurred on Sol 1051 when the cover was caught in action by Mass Camp Z, notching a few degrees of additional opening. After that, the arm was stowed for a drive on the next Sol, and no additional images have been acquired since then, except for the blurry ones from Sherlock itself. These should reveal additional cover opening if it happens. It hasn't. So now I'm wondering if there might be a desperation plan to deploy the arm and try to hook it on a rock to pull it open. I wonder if Perseverance could, paraphrasing Bob Dylan now, help her out of a jam, I guess, but not use a little too much force.